This one happened several years ago. I was the nighttime charge nurse over the ICU. I just finished a 12 hour shift that turned into a 14 hour shift because of a rapid response that rolled in right before my shift change. Patient's doing okay, he responded well, so don't worry, it's all right. I was exhausted and I had to return for my fourth shift in nine hours time. All I wanted to do was go and grab some stuff that I could throw into the slow cooker so I'd have something to eat when I got up tonight for my next shift. I stopped at a well-known big box store, you know, the kind that sells groceries, clothes, electronics, furniture, the works. Now, it's important to point out at this point, I am wearing Royal Blue Scrubs, a name badge with a big RN under it, and I'd forgotten to take my stethoscope off, so that's dangling around my neck. The employees here, well, don't. As I'm walking towards the store, I see an elderly couple struggling to load a giant ass box into their SUV parked in front of the store. And I mean really old, like 90 plus and shaky, teetering around with limited mobility. The kind I see with a medalist that's three pages long. No way could his hips take the weight without just shattering into oblivion. And I've worked enough tonight. I approach quickly and address the female half of the couple, offering them my help. It was gladly accepted, and I got their TV loaded into their car with very little difficulty. It was more cumbersome than heavy, to be honest. So I'm chatting with a woman who is explaining that it's a gift for their son and her husband didn't want to wait for help. I was wondering why an employee wasn't helping them. And that, that is when it happened. The entitled bitch arrived. Hey, hey! Startled, we stop our conversation and look over. It's a lady in her 50s, dressed in a cheap looking beige pantsuit, with a get your manager hairstyle standing about 15 feet away, with a hand on her over broad hips. If you're about done, I need help over here. She then points to her cart, with two boxes of bookshelves. You know, the flat pack, some assembly required type things. I realize this dumbass thinks I work here. So I tell her, no, no, I'm, look, I'm sorry, I, I don't work. You're already making me late. Just get it done and don't scratch my paint. The elderly lady and I exchange looks of disbelief and try again. Okay, look, I, I don't work. Ah, oh, just get it done. She then steps away from her car to grab her purse, grumbling about, ugh, f***ing idiots, and is digging for her keys when her cart starts rolling off away and just like off the edge of the curb. The entire uneven load, because this thing's like flat pack furniture boxes stacked up on a cart, and it just rolls away and like tips off the curb. Naturally, I instinctively Superman dived to try and grab that thing, trying to save it. Yeah, yeah, I was unsuccessful. Entitled bitch turns around to see her particle board just spill across the cement. Corners of the boxes are crushed and one's ripped and torn open and pieces have flown everywhere. Packaging's now open and completely exposed. Entitled bitch completely loses her shit and immediately becomes a complete raging thunder What the f you fucking moron! Pick them up, goddammit! Oh my god, I'm gonna have you fired! You owe me new bookshelves and I'm late! At this point, I I'm just done. I've had enough. I'm out, right? So I'm like, pick them up yourself. I don't work here! I then turn to go inside and I feel her grab my sleeve and try to like yank me round. I jerk my sleeve out of her grip and turn to face her now violently red face. She opens her mouth and starts screaming again. So I just put my finger up to her lips and shh, 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 shh. No, don't touch me. Shut the hell up. I don't work here. And even if I did, I would quit long before I helped you clean up your shit. The entitled bitch just stands there speechless. Her mouth's flapping, it's opening and closing, there's just nothing coming out. She's just sputtering with shock that I've just dared to raise my voice at her. That's when the manager and an employee come out. As EB sees the manager, she finds her voice again. Oh, 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 are you the manager? This man just damaged my bookshelves and is refusing to pay for them. 
I just stare in shock, like, seriously? Having realized that a man in bright blue scrubs with a stethoscope around his neck and a big RN badge, those guys immediately realize I clearly don't work here. Instead of apologizing, she chooses to double down on the craziness and now accuses me of breaking her stuff. Before I can voice my denial, the elderly gentleman I helped earlier steps in and explains the situation to the manager. Entitled bitch is still voicing her complaint at this point, but the manager realizes the situation and apologizes to me and the couple. So at this point, I'm still standing by, watching angrily as the manager deals with entitled bitch and inspects the bookshelves. They're not damaged, so he offers her two new boxes, but EB just is now done with the whole situation as well and says no, she's already late and it's all because of me. She just glares over at me and says to the manager, oh, just let them, uh, I'm already late enough because of this. The manager and the employee then lift the boxes up and get them wedged into the lady's car. As I shake my head and go to enter the store, I'm stopped by the little old lady, the one that I helped load earlier that was still around. Oh, sir. Thank you so much for helping us with the TV. I'm so sorry some people are so rude. She then reaches for my hand to shake. And as she does so, she like folds both her fragile hands around mine. And I can feel her giving something to me. She's putting something into my palm. And she just whispers, don't, don't look at it yet. Wait until she leaves. I slide the strange package into my scrubs and uh, the lady walks away. Entitled bitch then gets into a car without apologizing or thanking anyone, peels the hell out of there and just drives off into the sunset. So I finally enter the store. I grab my food items and then I reach into my pocket. I pull out a plastic bag. <laughs> pull out a plastic bag with a bunch of screws and hardwares in it. I immediately realize that sweet little old lady <laughs> Took advantage of the commotion to steal the hardware out of Entitled Bitch's open box. I couldn't believe it. I had the biggest grin on my face as I did my shopping, and I now have a new petty revenge hero to idolize and admire. If you like petty revenge and want to see something a little bit bigger than a uh, bag of 99p screws, how does 10 grand sound? Yes, 10 grand this guy spent on petty revenge. You can check it out in this video here, somewhere. Go check that one out now. I'll see you over there. See you later.